Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I want to talk about the prize pool debit card. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, prize pool is currently a savings account, which is kind of like a lottery. Basically, you put money into your savings account and you receive a certain amount of tickets per dollar that you save. And each week they have a drawing where the largest prize each week is $500. And within a four, four week period, uh, that fourth week you could win up to $10,000. And so it kind of works similar to a lottery. The only difference is that you don't have numbers that you have to pick. You basically get one ticket for every dollar that you save in the prize pool savings account. So if you're not familiar with the prize pool savings account, I actually had a video where I reviewed that savings account. I'll have a link to it below in the description. But today I'm gonna to talk about the debit card function that they've recently added to the prize pool savings account. Now with the prize pool savings account, for every dollar that you put into your savings account, you get one ticket. But when you use the prize pool debit card, you actually get 30 tickets for every dollar that you spend. So with the prize pool savings account, there's a four week period where each week you have the opportunity to win up to $500 in the first, the second and the third week. But in the fourth week, the largest prize is $4,000. And each ticket that you get by either saving money in your account or by spending money using the new debit card, you get tickets to that larger prize. Now there are smaller prizes as well, so you're not only going after one prize. You could win 10 cents, 25 cents, a few dollars, up to $500 each week. And then on that last week, the fourth week of each period, uh, you have the opportunity to win up to $10,000. And so while they started off as a savings account, if you were to use that debit account, you can actually earn more tickets from your spending than you do with the savings side. So like I mentioned, you get one ticket for every dollar that you save, but you get 30 tickets for every dollar that you spend. So you could buy something that only costs $1, you automatically get 30 tickets. But in order to get 30 tickets, you would have to at least either save $30 or over the span of that four week period, you could get up to 28 tickets for every dollar that you saved, as long as that dollar was in during that full four week period. And so obviously the more you spend, the more tickets you get, but you also want to save because saving is important just in general. And the more money you have in your savings account, the more consistency you'll have as far as the tickets that you receive uh, for each drawing every week. And so if you already have the prize pool savings account, it's really easy to get it set up. If you don't have the savings account yet, I actually have a referral, which will be available below in the description, but it's really easy. You don't even have to use the physical debit card. Once you get approved, once you've gone through the application process, as soon as you're approved, you'll be able to use your debit card, either using Apple Pay or Google Pay, or by looking at your actual debit card information within the Prize Pool Savings Account app, and then adding that to PayPal or any online website where you would normally use a debit card or a credit card. And so by getting that additional tickets by actually spending money in your account, it's actually a great way to entice more people to use the Prize Pool Savings Account even if you don't plan to use it as a savings account and you're only gonna use it as a debit account, you can just put all of your money in there and then that way, whenever you need to spend money, it's already there and you're earning tickets, you're getting a chance to earn more money in your account from the spending that you're doing. And so if you could compare it to like a cashback credit card, this could actually earn you more money than your typical cashback credit card because with a cashback credit card, maybe you're only getting 1%, maybe 2%, uh, total on all of your spending, or maybe there are certain categories where you can get 3%, 4%, or maybe even 5% or higher, but those are only for specific categories. Uh, with this account, you're gonna get 30 tickets. It's not a guarantee that you're gonna win every time, but the average that I've received back, the average return that I've gotten in the savings account portion for my account is actually around 8%. But an additional great feature when you do use that debit account is that your purchases could be reimbursed. And so while you could use your credit card to try to earn points for flights and things of that nature, what if you actually got your flight reimbursed because you use the prize pool debit card to pay for that flight or to pay for that trip? Um, you will get re reimbursed. There's a limit of $2,000 per transaction. So if you were to be, or one of your transactions were to be chosen to be reimbursed, the maximum that you could be reimbursed for that transaction is $2,000. And so one thing that I'm actually gonna test with my own debit card account, once I start using it more often, is paying my credit card using the prize pool debit card. And so I could maybe pay the card off in $2,000 chunks, 
or maybe if there's some large purchase that I need to make, you know, maybe you could buy gift cards using your prize pool debit account. And then that way you can get larger amounts of transactions instead of having maybe smaller transactions when you're going to the grocery store, maybe buying gas, et cetera, et cetera. And so this could be a great cashback stacking strategy. If you've never heard about a cashback stacking strategy, I have plenty of videos that you can check out. I'll have a link to those in the description as well. But essentially with a cashback stacking strategy, you're using a credit card that earns cashback. You're connecting different cashback apps that allow you to get additional money when you spend at specific stores. And then you could just use your prize pool debit card to pay off your credit card. And then that purchase or that uh, credit card payment could potentially be reimbursed up to $2,000 maximum transaction. So that's another great feature of this prize pool debit card that you can use. Now, currently the prize pool debit card, there is a wait list for it. Again, if you already have the prize pool savings account, you can just go on the app and apply for the prize pool debit card. If you don't have the savings account, click the link below in the description, use my referral link. You'll get a bonus of 10% on the prizes that you win when you use someone's referral link and I'll have mine available in the description below. And so when I first set up the account, I just put $100 in there just to see what the, what the return could be. Uh, the base savings rate for the savings account is 0.30%, but the average return that I've gotten with just $100 that I put in, I've never had more than $500 in this account, has been almost 8% return, actually 7.42% uh, return uh, in the savings account in less than a year. And so what I actually plan to do, which I did on July 15th of this year, um, I'm doing a comparison video to compare a, a very similar account, the Yada savings account, which is another lottery-like savings account. I'm gonna do a comparison between Prize Pool and Yada. I put $500 in both of the accounts starting on July 15th of 2022. And then I'm gonna compare those two to see which one actually performs better. And I actually do a review video or comparison video of prize pool and yada and then throughout the year and you know over time um, i'll show the results of those two different accounts to see which one is performing better and i'll put that up in my instagram and i'll make another follow-up video to show you uh, how that has gone but to get back to the prize pool actual debit card account i think they're going to do a lot of different promotions with this account um, shortly after i actually signed up for the debit card uh, this was right before amazon prime day they had a promotion where if you use your prize pool debit card uh, on Amazon Prime Day, you actually got bonus tickets for whatever purchase you made. So like I mentioned, you normally get 30 tickets per dollar that you spend with the prize pool debit card, but any purchase that you made with on Amazon during Amazon Prime Day, you actually got a bonus of 5,000 tickets. And so I did that, I earned the 5,000 tickets. So I'm hoping that they'll have other promotions just like this that I can tell you about that you can use. Sorry, I didn't get a chance to make this video where maybe you could have taken advantage of that as well, but it definitely worked. I can show you, I'll put a screenshot up that shows the what I earned as far as the tickets I earned for that week. Um, but I'm hoping that in the future, they'll have similar promotions just like this, whether it's you know every year they do this for Prime Day, or maybe they have some promotion on specific holidays like Labor Day or maybe Christmas, uh, New Year's, et cetera, et cetera. That way you can get different opportunities to get more tickets when you use your debit card. And of course, that's gonna attract more users to use this prize pool savings account and a debit account. And just like with any uh, financial app, savings account, check account, whatever, cashback apps that I talk about on this channel, I always trying to find a way to potentially hack or potentially enhance uh, the benefits that you get from this account with some other application or some other credit card or debit card account. And so the potential hack that I'm thinking of and that I'm gonna test out is that I mentioned earlier in the video where you can get different transactions reimbursed. It's totally random. You don't know what's gonna get reimbursed. And that's why, you know, that's the, the trick or the incentive to try and get you to use your debit card more is the more transactions you make, the more opportunities you have for one of those transactions to be reimbursed. And like I mentioned, it can be reimbursed up to a $2,000 purchase. So if you purchase something and it was $2,100, the maximum you'll actually get reimbursed is $2,000. So keep that in mind. And also remember that it's totally random. So just use it as you normally would your other debit card or checking accounts or any of your credit cards if you want that opportunity to get reimbursed. And so all in all, the debit card option within the prize pool savings account, it does sound like a great deal. 
Again, when you use a debit card account, instead of receiving one ticket for every dollar that you save in the prize pool savings account, you'll get 30 tickets for every dollar that you spend when you use the prize pool debit account. And it's been a really great savings return for me, as I mentioned, over 7% return in less than a year that I've been using the account. Um, you also get a default 0.30% return on your savings account. And then once you add the prizes that you could win from as low as 10 cents per week, up to $10,000 on the fourth week of that four week period. So definitely check it out. Uh, let me know what you thought about this review in the comments below. If you don't already have a prize pool savings account, as I mentioned, you can use my referral link. It will be available in the description below and get those bonus tickets because if you sign up without a referral link, then you won't get that 10% bonus on any prizes that you win. All right, thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not already a member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.